Welcome everyone, this is a, a tutorial about post-promotion and the most effective way to post-promote your work. Uh, my name is Sam Stonehill, you can follow me at Sam Stonehill. I'm here with two friends I am teaching about this, at Michael Vegas and at Cron, soon to be joining us on Steemit. Michael's already with us, Cron not quite. Almost there. Right. So, post promotion. Here you can see uh, a post I did three hours ago. Um, I want to post promote this now to Steemit Chat, which is the main place, the best place to post promote. What I do is I go to the article. Uh, three hours, by the way, is a little bit late. I'm just uh, I'm showing you this as an example. Um, I'm actually sitting at this table, funnily enough. I'm right there. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, three hours is a bit late. There is an optimum time to post. And I suppose before I go into post-promotion, we should just quickly uh, look at that. So this is something that many people do not understand and is really important. If a post is upvoted, the moment of posting, 100% of the curation reward goes to the author. At three minutes, 90% to the author, 10% to the curator. 15 minutes, 50-50 split. 27 minutes, 10% to the author, 90 to the curator. After 30 minutes, 100% goes to the curator. So, you have to think about the best way to play this. Uh, as the uh, author, sorry, go on, Michael. You yes, have a question. As a, as a just starter in Steemit, sure. Can I? I believe that many other we have the same question as me. Uh, maybe my English is not so good, but what the different? Okay, the author, but the curator. Uh, what the? What it means? It means the person who has voted for you. Okay, they are the curator. Oh, so yeah. If I vote for you, I'm the curator. Exactly. All right. Uh, so, to be honest, as the author, you want people to vote for you as early as possible because that way, more of the money goes to you. So, the best thing to do is as soon as you have posted your article on Steemit, get your ass to steemit.chat. Copy the link from your article, go to steemit.chat. Um, yeah, let me just walk you through this first, then we'll get into why I've got so many different uh, tags here. We'll get into that later. What I want to show you first, I just want to walk you through how to efficiently post in steemit.chat. You um, copy your link, then watch carefully. Uh, you add one of them, you add one of these, keep watching carefully, you add one of these, then you open brackets, then, my friends, focus, you go back to the image that you want to appear as your thumbnail. Let's say I want this. So it doesn't Copy. have to be the first image. It doesn't have to be. Uh, people will recognize the first image as your thumbnail on Steemit. So probably better to do your first image. So, copy image address, okay? Then you go back to what I just did here. The message. So, the link with these little additions. Then you paste the uh, image address, close the brackets, highlight everything, copy that, and post it. Now, in a second, the internet's a little bit slow. In a second, that will load up that immediately connects to the photo that I've told it to connect to. And because I've just copied that whole selection of information, when I go to the next feed, boom, paste, boom, paste, you know. So you just work your way through uh, pasting that link into each one of the relevant feeds. Did you get all that? Yes. So No questions? No, it's clear for me. So uh, it means all the the thing I uh, all the hashtag group that I believe will be interested by the post I want I, I'm making. I will copy and pass in all those hashtag group that uh, are on the Steam chat. Exactly. 
Um, you've got to, <laughs> yes, just um, what you've got to do before you get to the point that I'm at where I've got this huge long list here, you've got to spend a day looking for them, looking for the tags that are going to be relevant to the kind of work that you're going to be posting. Mm -hmm. And be relaxed about it. If you've got photos in it, your photography. You know, if yeah. you've got, um, if you're in Indonesia, choose, it, choose Indonesia. Post it in Indonesia. If you're in Bali, there's even one for Bali, which yeah. is Bali o oh, Bali. Why not? Let's yeah, whack on mine this in hashtag, there. You can see how many people are actually in this. In, is like a group or is a is a is a chat group broadcast group? Uh, it broadcast. is a post promotion feed created by us, the people, so we can write to a guy called Firepower, who I do regularly to create new feeds. Uh, you basically Hashtag. create a new feed, and it's not necessarily connected directly to Steemit. There are feeds here that are, that don't appear on Steemit. Um, so it's just a really good place to find other people who ha who share similar interests to you. So the, you can see their work, they can see your work, and hopefully follow each other and upvote okay. each other. So one thing that people don't understand is when you join Steemit.chat, it offers you the post-promotion feed, uh, where is it here, as the kind of default place to post-promote. Personally, I would avoid this feed completely. I think my internet has gone. It's so busy now because it's been recommended as the place to go, and it covers the whole spectrum of post-promotion. Why not whittle it down to music, to barley, so to... the post-promotion uh, will be like home. Yes, this everything is kind of... Well, not everything. The, the people that don't really understand this are still whacking their stuff into post-promotion. Mm. The problem is, is that it's so busy, no one's taking the time to really read the stuff, uh, from what I can see. Anyway, what I would say is uh, avoid post-promotion, find themes that are relevant to what you do, and you do that by typing it up here. Um, I, we've looked up DJ, and it's a shame. There is, oh, there is DJ Marcus... But Ill. it's not but, hashtag. Oh, yes, no, at. yeah, that is true. The at signs imply that that is a person who you can directly communicate now with through Steam at Chat. Or you find um, <coughs> food, for example, food trail. Now, that is a, a feed. So if you clicked on food trail, um, it should give you. Uh, oh, I'm already uh, a member, but. Um, Okay. I don't often you post don't in, in food well, trail. So when you join a channel, you it says that you join a channel in the chat at the bottom, does it? I was joining the channel. Yeah. yeah. But uh, if I were to find a new feed that I hadn't joined before, I can't think of too many. Have we got UFO ones? I was thinking about the other day. Yeah, you have. I'm already in UFO, aren't I? Uh, yeah, no, I've joined a lot, to be honest. And... Uh, I chat with a lot of people as well, but um, right. I think that's it for. S Sorry. Okay, short. wait. Hang on. No, no, no. There's more. So, um, keep. Okay, how do I put this? If you believe that the post you have created is not getting the rewards it deserves, keep post promoting. You can do this for six days. On the seventh day, there is no point. But you can post promote for six days and potentially double your uh, your payout and number of followers gained from post promoting something that is really <coughs> strong for six days. Um, right. It is worth it. I've done it, and you see a lot of other people doing it when they have belief in their their article. They just post promote, and and <coughs> you you had a good point earlier. Even if the article is doing really well that's a sign that people are loving it. So that's also another reason to post-promote. If it's doing really well, it can do even better. So mm. reach you, more people through the, the Steam chat. I mean, ultimately, you're always going to do better the more you mm. post-promote all of your stuff as often as possible. Some of the feeds have different rules. Uh, post-promotion, for example, allows only once every two hours. Um, and that's it. So... 
all the other ones don't have a cap. On uh, some of them do have caps. You have to check uh, on this side here. Can you see these icons here? So it's always worth reading uh, the info and pinned messages just to see exactly what the rules are. This has given no rules whatsoever. Other ones. Whereas if you look, for example, introduce yourself, for example, should have some rules. Right at the top, you can see promote your introduce, uh, introduction post. No random links, read channel rules, upper right icon. Here are the rules. So this is very useful for anyone new to Steamit. You should definitely post your introduce yourself post in this feed. It is uh, uh, curated by uh, a powerful member of Steamit who will push you out there if he likes you. And if you've, if you've made the effort and you're not getting a good reward, he will help you. And um, yeah, sometimes you find the information you need to see in this little pin thing here. For example, in Curie, all the guidelines for how to have your posts put forward for the curation guilds are viewable in the Curie tab in the pinned messages. And for those of you that want to understand this better, I think you're going to have to watch another tutorial because it's, it's another subject. So that's it for Steemit chat. One more point that I didn't make, which is the <laughs> private message service uh, on Steemit chat, which is really important. So you can identify your friends here. So say I want to speak to um, Jockey. I just go at Jockey. Are you sure you're recording? I saw you start yes, the recording. Yes, I am recording. I hook up with my friend Jockey by clicking there. And uh, in fact, I am already in conversation with Jockey here. My internet is really a bit rubbish in this moment. There it is, right, so we're chatting. And um, what that enables you to do is chat with any other Steemit users in a private space, which is important for scheming. For scheming. For scheming, thank you, Kron. Uh, it is important for scheming. Uh, so that was just something else I wanted to mention. Oh, and also, um, there are some uh, tags that are less obvious to uh, to find than others. So, um, yeah, for example, uh, if you're a minnow, there's minnows unite and there's minnows unite hot content. What's the difference between the two? Not much. They are post promotion feeds that are just less busy than the main post promotion feed. So, if you're looking to get noticed, post in these kind of sites.